All right, welcome back to Rogue Tech, and welcome back to the Challenge Run Mark II. Yeah, so I did decide to just stick with stereo. It does give me more versatile recording options moving forward, um, specifically for once I start recording audio and uh, sound effects for my game. So, gonna gonna work on getting the stereo perfect, and. Yeah, have a good time doing it. So, we have things going on, but somebody requested that we look at Mr. McZappy here and organize it so that it's a little bit less bad. We don't have a battle computer heat? Wait a second. Okay, hold on. First of all, we have a battle computer recoil, but no battle computer heat. Does McDookie have anything to reduce recoil? Yes, he does. He has focus fire. So yeah, we do not need the Battle Computer Recoil Welcome to the at State, all. Commander. And on top of that, we can absolutely drop some cooling, right? Yeah. All right. Um, right. Do that. Yeah, no, we're good now with just with just that. And that leaves us with almost half a ton. What do we do with almost half a ton? Wait, 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 hold on. Um, Superchargers, 0.95. Yeah, mask is way too heavy, but Superchargers, 0.95. And we do have a slot now. Alternatively, there is Harjul. No, I I think we I think we're gonna go with supercharger. That lets us get into optimal range faster, so we stop having the damage fall off from the expulses. Okay. How much back armor is that? E actually. How is it? Is it a full five? On, okay, not quite a full five on each. All right, there we go. Let's do that. Cool. Right, I'll get it in the schedule. Yep. Let's just let's just play a mission because we're about to hit the financial report and we're gonna need money to travel. I mean, I see a six and a half. And a seven, four times four free for all battle. That's interesting. Yeah. Let's do it. Why not? So we need four mechs um, Grim Reaper with Gremlin. V. Okay, so it's Badlands. So Daka Daka Baby is going to be amazing. Just instantly overheating people. And let's actually swap them. Um, and this gives us a chance to test the Grim Reaper's changes to see if it's less hot for one. And to see if the arm upgrade applies to all arm mounted weapons or just the ones on that arm. I also absolutely want to test the archer some more to see if see if the uh, the mech lance is adequate um, 
So, we're gonna do that. Maybe the Night Star? Maybe the Night Star as well? Cicada Mark II... Because the Warhammer is a little toasty with the PBC capacitor. So... The Cicada, on the other hand, I'm pretty sure is, like, super fine. We don't have an engine upgrade? Oh, no, there it is. Pirate engine. I was going to say, like, I was pretty sure we had an engine. Ah, pirate engine, though. Hold on. That generates 20 heat per turn. I mean, we have the Radical Proto. But... I mean, extra 20 heat per turn plus the stealth? You know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's completely fine. Um... Yeah, let's, um, let's do it. Let's do it. Although, actually... Let's drop Paradox in the Archer. Just to see if Juggernaut, or Berserker, I mean, is better. Alright, let's go. Alright, let's get into the mission. I hope I loaded it up correctly. Um, yeah, I did the intro to this episode and then started loading in the mission and during the load time I was like, Oh no, it's Wednesday and it's almost 6pm. So I jumped off real quick and went and set up for the XCOM stream. Lots of technical difficulties, good times. Um, I did not pay attention to what Darius was saying. So there's one enemy lance. I'm... There's supposed to be a second enemy lance, but we can drop over here, we can drop over here. Is it going to be down here? Huh. Okay, so maybe we drop in this cover here, and then um, hopefully the enemies drop behind this lance that we're about to start fighting. I don't know, I'm really hoping that they do good work against each other. Ultra Mark 2 F, Zeus, Catapult 3, and a Conquistador. Wow. Alright, so that, those are some strong mechs. Those are some strong mechs. Um, yeah, we don't have any weapons on the Archer, so... Hey there. Let's actually move and brace. Yeah, we're just gonna move and brace. So, not seeing any sign of the secondary lance. Um, here we might actually be able to get because the uh, archer actually did have line of sight to this vulture, but I want the Zeus to go first, honestly, before I go in and start shooting. Yeah, like that. Beautiful. Right here. All right, uh, gremlin cannot get a shot. All right. I probably should have just moved and braced, honestly. Whatever. Uh, Grandpa's not going to be able to get a shot. I'm definitely going to move and brace with him. Because I can only get one evasion either way. Um, might as well get the most damage reduction possible. And yeah, Bear Claw, time to engage. All right. Zoom, zoom. Okay, it's only obstructed. It's only obstructed to the Vulture, but Vulture Mark II's always run XL engines. And I would definitely rather be backstabbing the Zeus, because Zeus's tend to have damage reduction. And it probably also has uh, Bulwark. Alright. Yeah, take that. Alright. Of course, the vulture is going to have super high initiative. Twenty. Yeah, that beats us. But it's fine. It's really weird that we're not seeing any sign of the other lance yet. Waiting for orders. 
Also, the vulture walked away without doing anything. Okay, turn that on, turn that on, and... I mean... They've all already acted, right? Except for the Zeus. Yeah. Double time, let's go. I'm gonna poke him in the back with my mech lance. Locked up. We're up. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. in, in hindsight, poking him in the back was not super effective. Um or point you know, there wasn't much of a point to it since uh we're about to shoot him a lot from the front. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and offensive push this. Because, I mean, yeah. Firing at him. I forgot to turn on my enhanced imaging. Oh, God, I was sleeping. Uh, what do you want? Grandpa. Okay, Grandpa. You're asking a lot of an old guy. That's a little problematic. <clears throat> Good to go. Okay, Bear Claw. Yes. Let's go. 100% yes. You. All right. Critical hit, Commander. MRM thirty, actually. That's the double MRM thirty vulture. Oh no. Okay. S bunch of splash on the Zeus, so that's not super concerning. Uh, vulture is continuing to run away. Also, where's the other lance? Did I actually did I actually queue up for the wrong thing? Did I actually queue up for a four v four v four? Just <clears throat> that's scary. That's VSPLs. That conquistador needs to go. Um, turn off the supercharger. And that's only a charge. But that's a potential kill. 315 damage. It's definitely a knockdown. I'm gonna go Vigilance. And yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> All right. I'm very scared of this conquistador. Boom. Not quite a kill. Okay. Zeus. Okay. Took a hard hit there. Good to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's go. <clears throat> so, um, man. I feel like I got something in my throat. <clears> throat> but yeah, so, um. This vulture really needs to die before it acts and shoots me, because it is very scary. But I don't think I have that option, so I'm just going to do what I can. I think I did accidentally queue up for just a deathmatch instead of... Um, <laughs> yeah. So I think I queued up for a deathmatch instead of the free-for-all. Please, shut down. That's not a shutdown. Yes, Commander. Um, yeah, so this is why I went Vigilance. Exactly for this reason. Uh, the Conquistador's turn 14. But he should have awful accuracy standing up. And we can instead kill the Vulture. On my way. 
before it has a turn with its double I MRM 30. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. One major threat down. I'm kind of tempted to do the 4v4 3v4 free for all. And just do it with, like, um, like just do it with, uh, what's it? Um, melee mech. Just have a good time with it. I might. They are flanking. Hey, that wasn't very nice. It's fine. That was a Zeus hit. isn't gonna last he long. Losing armor. Uh, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and walk out of our cover You're and shut this guy down, guy. or kill him, whichever happens first. Looks like we're gonna kill him. Wow, he I'll take it. Down like I do. This is scary, but he should again have awful hit chance. Double injury, standing up. If that would have stray shot, I would have been so upset. <laughs> standing by. That would have been so awful. All right. Still no fail chance on. Wait, what? Oh, we're uh, we're cooling with our radical. And we actually cannot get behind him. Huh. That's unfortunate. But they've all they've both already acted, so let's do this. Um I think I'm gonna see Oh, everyone has already acted. Waiting yeah, for orders. Okay. Um I think I will shoot Zeus in the back. Copy that. Because, um, why not, <laughs> basically? Yes, yeah. beautiful. Okay. Yeah. Just walk and I'm not going to go over heat. Guess I'll give it to him then. Panic. Order. 5% fail chance on the cockpit. I think we're fine. This is gonna be a kill. We go home. And then we go look at that 4v4 death net, or uh, free for all. And uh, do that. What? Wait. Ah, God, I was sleeping. What do you want? Oh, I don't like going fast. Wait, what? It's scary. Yes, Commander. Um. What? So there is going to be another lance. Ah, okay. Got it. Got it, got it, got I'm it. Listening. All right. <laughs> I understand now. I understand. Um, yeah, we're gonna move for two embrace. On my way. Next turn, we'll be able to move in cover. Um, here, we're gonna move for one embrace. You're asking a lot of an All right. guy. Uh, everything off. Move for three embrace. Beautiful. Moving to position. And last but not least, we've got Paradox. Turning that off. Go ahead and turn the supercharger on, actually. Get five. Move into position. Get back in there so that we can actually do something. All right. And now here they come. Good to go. We're not going to be able to melee this turn anyway, so we might as well run for five and cover and get eyes on them. And they're kind of scary. Um, Phaistos, pretty scary. Avatar, not that bad actually. This is not one of the scarier avatars. A Preta, 
Okay. That's not that bad. That's bad. That is so bad. Um, so pretty good damage to open this up and then a bunch of crit chance afterwards. Uh, so we're gonna EWS ping. I've got a sense of luck. Evasion unchanged on everyone? Nope, okay. Minus one evasion on the scariest person oh, there. Oh god, I was sleeping. I'll what take do you it. want? Unfortunately, Grandpa cannot get line of sight to the scariest person there. Unfortunate. Um, bear claw? Receiving you. Yeah, bear claw can. Bear claw is gonna go zoom zoom. And I wonder if they're gonna shoot at me this round, or if I'm safe to just like take a round of not getting shot at. Hmm. I've already turned on the engine, so I have to act now. Um, I'm going to turn off the supercharger, because it's the first thing that's going to develop a fail chance. So that lets me still get five. And I'm going to shoot the summoner in the face. Hi there. Oh God, I was sleeping. What yeah, do you Grandpa, want? Just gonna wait for somebody to move. All right, I'll sit here. All like right, so are they gonna shoot me? Do. Not like I'm no. running low on time or anything. All right. Commander. Cool. In that case, let's get some work done. Um, I'm even gonna go offensive push here. It's probably a clan XL, right? Yeah, clan XL. So let's just try to grind through the center. Or we could just, you know, miss. That works too. It's fine. Everything's fine. Alright, so. Archer. Oh, God, I was Archer sleeping. definitely wants to what punch somebody want? in the back. I mean, yeah. That's. That's pretty good. I mean, the Hephaestos is kind of scary. And being able to overheat him means he won't be able to fire, like, anything scary, like the VSPLs. Wait, what? Waiting for orders. Uh, okay. Turn that off. Turn that on. And let's... Punch the summoner in the back. Ha. Stop. Now we're standing in the mineral field, so... And... Triple miss on the lance. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Alright, so... The Hephaestos, if we can get in its side, which we can, is already Old pretty busted. Sounds good. Uh -huh. So, let's go ahead and... Does that have an XL? does. It does. I was going to say I should have gone enhanced imaging, but didn't need it. Commander. Love it. Um, can I get four if I go supercharger as well? Nope. I cannot. That's fine. This should still be a kill. Pretty sure. Pretty sure. Pew. Oops. Two taps of the Goss went to uh, our archers back, but it's fine. Alright. And Cerus. Hello. We're gonna hit you with... Precision and Incendiary. Sure. All right. I ran out of AC5 ammo. You're going to need to call Discount Dan. Cool. So, I'm not really worried about anything that's left. Like, yeah, they're going to do some armor damage to us, but I don't think we're in any actual danger anymore. We got good mechs. I 
I do really want to run just a melee only mission. It's gonna be so fun. Standing by. Um. I mean. Sure. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Actually, I should have turned off the pirate engine. Oh, it doesn't matter because our radicals. Zero percent? Is it not active? Hmm. Strange. Commander? Uh, we'll go ahead and turn off the cockpit hot seat. We don't need it. Punch. Yep. Hi there. Yep. Yeah. Enemy down. Archers? Not great yet, I don't think. I don't think it's like nearly as good as our other melee mix have been so far. Okay, if they get behind us, oh God, that actually is very I'm dangerous. Really for real this but time. I'm just gonna You're turn around an and punish game. him for it. Yeah. Actually, wait. Why is it 33% on? They have a large, okay. No minimum range on the Rack 5 clan. There is a minimum range on the Rack 5. That's, hmm. All right, it's fine. We still have enough just raw, raw damage that it's nothing. All right, wow. easy mission. So, let's play mission another. Successful. All right, three and a half million armor damage. 125,000, you know what? We made 3.5, I don't mind 125,000. Okay, our Black Knight needs seven days, our Archer needs two. Yeah, you know what, let's travel. Let's travel and then we'll drop a mission with just the melees. Uh, again, not doing that. I don't know what the gotta shoot in the head thing means, but... Lights only... Honestly, I'm sick of doing the gladiator ones. They don't pay well, they don't have good... Salvage, um... Siege a dropship platform. Mmm, I don't want to fight a dropship either. Uh, what about over here? Gladiator again. Siege Breaker. Light tonnage requirement. How about this one? There we go. 74 days. 74. Do we have the sea bills to do that? We got 7 million. In three days, we lose 2.3. So if we then have to go another two financial reports, which we will, that'll be another 4.6. That would be a little close, because altogether that would be three financial reports, 6.9. We'd need jump costs. So let's sell some stuff and then go ahead and do that. I legitimately still might use the AC-20s at some point. I might. AP Gauss Rifles... They're good, but you really need a lot of them to be super effective, and... Well, we might have... Okay, we might have a mech that has, like, a couple missile or energy hard points, and then four or five ballistic hard points, and then have a good time with that. Put a bunch of heavy missile or, you know, energy weapons like PPCs or whatever, and then just drop in some AP Gauss rifles on them. Arrows, we're never going to run three. Two, yes. Three, no. I mean, they're each, what, 15 tons? Yeah. I'm not going to use 45 tons just to drop arrows. Um, 
ATMs I love. I'm going to hold on to them. Combat shotgun, we're probably actually going to stick in the archer. Just to see if it works better. Um, do we ever use an ER large laser? 5 tons, 36 heat, 45 damage. We might, honestly. Huh. Flamer. Are we ever going to use flamers? Like, realistically, I don't think so. So let's get a little bit of money there. The flame breath is... interesting. I mean, it's a third of a double heat sink. In addition to being a heat weapon. I should not have sold the flamers. Putting them on the Black Knight is actually viable. Perhaps. Hmm. Alright. Um, we got all sorts of different Gauss rifles. That's awesome. Heavy MRM 10, Heavy MRM 40. I'm not a super big fan of heavy racks. They just have such insane jam chance and high recoil. And if I'm going to be dropping a weapon that has 6 recoil and... What is that? 7 times 6 is... Like... 40 something? I think? 40... 42? I think? Something like that? I'd rather have 6% more jam chance but do like almost twice as much damage. But it is... It is 12 tons of... Wait, what? Oh, because it's a risk. It's a risk heavy rack. Mm, no, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. When did we get three large heavy lasers? Oh, no, no, no. It's improved that we don't... Okay. Yeah, no, it's... Because uh, I was like, man, we, we need one for... To, to make the Marauder build better, but no, no, no. Mr. Zappy has a large improved heavy that we don't have any more of, and then one large heavy. So yeah, never mind. Uh, large Rex laser. Again, it doesn't work for melee mechs because the energy weapon will fire after the punch or axe or whatever. But for something like our Cicada Mark II... That's actually interesting. As just like the first weapon it fires. Because that's, uh. How much damage is that to armor? Uh. Almost 130? 140? 100, 120, almost 130, yeah. That, that's a lot of damage to armor. Laser aim is quick sell. Uh, if we have the heat for it, that's actually a really amazing uh, thing to throw in. We're never going to use LB2s. Or LB5s. Or LB10s. Or LB20. Clan version? Maybe. There's a chance we actually use those. But not the regular ones. Not the Inner Spear ones. Um, I mean, four tons. Four tons for 20 damage at 720 meters is not terrible. Especially with a built-in evasion ignore. Eight tons for 50 damage with evasion ignore. Not bad. Um, Zeus is the extra damage. Okay. We're never going to use stock standard LRM-10s. We're, we're past the point where LRM-10s are really viable. Long fires. If we put these on something that has the arrows as well, perhaps. But that minimum range is a killer. Mag shot. If we have the room for a mag shot, that means we have the room for an AP Gauss rifle, which is just better. <laughs> 21 medium lasers. Eh. Might use them. Machine guns, huh? 
again, I feel like the AP Gauss Rifles are going to be more viable and more valuable in a fight than the machine guns. But we're never going to use a machine gun array, which is two tons for essentially four machine guns. Whereas we have Machine Gun Clan that takes 0.25 tons, so we can get four machine guns for one ton instead of two. Uh, MMLs are fine. Interesting. I mean, they have comparable weight to SRMs. They're lighter than LRMs. They can fire both. Actually, are they lighter than LRMs? Hold on. LRM-10 is two tons. Yeah, no, these are horrible compared to regular LRMs. They're like the same ton as SRMs, but they can fire LRM ammo. Huh. Well, I'll hold on to them. Micro-missiles, I'd still love to find the ammo to use them. Um... Mmm... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plasma cannons I might use at some point. I really might. Standard PPCs. Those I'm not going to use because they have a minimum range and each one weighs seven tons. There we go. Now we have eight million. Now we can go... There. Yep. Alright. Now we're not we're not gonna do the flashpoint immediately when we land because some of those flashpoints take a while. Uh, yeah, no, discipline the mech tech. I don't care. Leave my mech warriors alone. All right. Plus, it's not like we're rebuilding anything or anything, so it's whatever. But yeah, I will cut to when we are. Hey boss, we've just completed those upgrades. I'll upgrade the Argo because why not? Because money. That's why not. Uh, yeah, so I'll cut to when we arrive, unless there's another event that pops up. Alright, here we are. Uh, we're not going to start the rest or the runner restoration mission yet. We're going to look and see if there's something... Wait, this is probably a super low skull planet, isn't it? No, it's not. It's a Solaris planet. Okay, that means first things first. Check the store. We see... Nothing terribly interesting. Okay. Alright. Let's do a... Let's do a four v a four versus four free for all battle and just bring our melee mix. <laughs> this is probably a terrible idea, but why not? All right, Black Knight, Bo-Katan, right? That is what we decided. Uh, it has the DNI cockpit. Yeah. All right. Then we have the Archer. With Paradox. Oh yeah, I was going to put the Super Shotgun and test it out. Eh, whatever. Um, then we have the... Where is it? Ostrok. And the Ostrok is piloted by Porin. And then we have our lovely little Stormcrow. Where do we bring the Hunchback? Because um, the Stormcrow only has the MRM-30... If there's, like, a Nidhogg or something, like, usually it's mechs when you're doing the Solaris battles. But if they bring, like, a Nidhogg or something... Like, we have some micro and small lasers here. The mech lance can't target flying units. And here we've got some a couple of lasers. So the Hunchback is still technically a melee mech. But it also has the AC-10 and... Ah, that's right. All it has is the AC-10 and the large pulse laser. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. Um, Paradox, get back in your punch back. And 
Rolo, get back in your archer. Let's have a good time doing it. All right, so the plan is very simple. We run in and we punch things. And then we run in and we punch things. And then after we're done running in and punching things, we run in and punch some more things. And it looks like it's the same setup as last time. So, you know what? It's fine. Let's let's do exactly what we did last time. That should give us one round of position to start beating on them. I can't imagine that they actually outlive our initial C21. Wait, we only have one mech with right. AMS? Holding firm. That's not right. We should we should have more AMS on our melee max. Oh no, that's the long tom marauder. That's not good. Hey, command, I'm taking some hits, huh? I mean, that's pretty good. Receiving you. Uh, but yeah, that just shredded a uh, hundred armor off of our hunchback. I mean, yeah, turn on the things. Um, yeah, run and shoot the thing that we can shoot. Ha! Take that. Uh, definitely pulse laser first. Yep. Ha! I guess it doesn't really matter since they both fire multiple times. All right, turning on all the things, turning off the sword. That's actually really awesome. Goodness, that is so cool. Oh, uh, right, we took a bunch of stability damage from the artillery. Uh, we don't want to get knocked in steady, so... Oh, we can't Vigilance. Okay, well... Very well, then. Ha! Took down one of his LRMs with Shooty from our melee. That's an awesome. <laughs> okay. That... That's amazing. Uh, yeah, so turn on the things, and run, 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 run. We can actually get in range to... We can. Alright. Understood. Moving fast. Go ahead and mech lance him too while we're at it. I, I know we're lining up for stray shots, but Yes, Commander. Alright. Supercharger, cockpit hot seat. That's all she has. I guess that's all she has. I guess that's all she needs. Affirmative. I should have checked to make sure I could fire all my weapons from there. Are we actually gonna kill the catapult by shooting it with our melee mechs? Uh, streak should go last. Yep. Fire. Streak did not fire, but wasn't necessary. Our melee mechs killed the catapult with shooting. Alright, um... I think we reserve. And see if they come closer. This also gives us the opportunity to potentially charge. Ow. Okay. Okay. I I should have definitely moved in with the with the hunchback. Can't take much more of this. At least the awesome is very inaccurate. Right here. All right. Turn off supercharger. We're not going to be able to hit him from back, from the back with very many people. So if we don't kill... That's problematic. That being said, he's running composite. He has very, very little structure. You say so. so we might very well kill. Going hand to hand. I forgot to turn on... Wait. Like Does the Ostrock have a Viper Sword? Hold on a second. Does the Ostrock have a Viper Sword? Uh oh. 
Marauder stood back up. That's not good. Marauder did not shoot its long tom. I'll take it. Especially since he missed. Um. Yeah, is it a vibra sword she has? Or just... No, a hatchet. Okay. Alright. <clears throat> this is a charge. And that's a charge. So, if we're gonna charge... Might as well charge that. Please hit. Unfortunate. Also, reporting negative death. Commander. I uh I forgot to vigilance before I did that. Ha! Ha! Oops. So we took out its left side, but we cannot repeat the attack from the left side. How unfortunate. But we took out the LB20. So let's just do this then. Targeting for physical attack. Head punch. Or maybe not. Maybe maybe it was a head punch. I don't, I don't know. Um, yeah. So we cannot do anything except charge. I'm not gonna charge with the hunchback because unlike the Black Knight, we don't have a ton of damage reduction. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get where I can hit him with everything, including the mech lance. And then I'm gonna vigilance. Knockdown? Knockdown. Beautiful. Alright. Injury was resisted. Commander. Okay. The Marauder and the Black Knight are the same initiative. Which means the solution here is very simple. Uh, cannot get behind him. However, I'm going to get right up in his face. And I'm going to offensive push him. Center, sure, why not? Alright. And now we punch him in the back. Pirate engine can turn off, Viber Sword on, Supercharger off, and. Physical weapon. Go! Acknowledged. Targeting for physical attack. Amazing. This is so just crazy. I'm having so much fun with this. <laughs> Target eliminated. Yes, command. Oh yeah, we even have another lance dropping. Um. I mean, yeah, let's kick him. You know, that's one benefit the mech lance has over the uh, super shotgun. Because the super shotgun, the majority of the damage we get out of it is punch damage specifically. So if we're in a situation where we can't punch them, the mech lance is just objectively better. Nice. If he doesn't die, he's got to punch out, right? No, he died. This is too fun. Like, absolutely just too fun. Alright, move and brace. Pretty sure Darius said they're dropping the same place they did last mission. Alright. Standing by. So we turn off that stuff. Turn on that stuff. And sprint, sprint, sprint. Turn that off. Turn that on. And sprint, sprint, sprint. I'm on the move. Just leave everything off. Move for five and brace. My way. I like this lance. It's a fun lance. Turn those things off. 
Just move and brace. Location confirmed. Yeah, our hunchback's super out of position, but it's fine. Hell yeah. Lowest armor of our entire lance, and already took the most of the damage, like the majority of the damage. So, yes, Commander. that's a timber wolf. That's an Atlas. Another Zeus, and another awesome. Well then. Waiting for orders. Um, I'm gonna let them take a turn, actually. I think if they give me the chance, because I'm assuming they're not going to shoot, right? Just like last mission? No, correct. Ready for order. If they give me the chance, which that's probably the closest any of them are going to get, because the Atlas probably has like 3-5 movement. Yeah, 3-4, three, 3-5. Three, um, which means he, even if he sprints, he won't get as close as Zeus. The Timberwolf is probably faster. And is also much, much scarier. Oh my goodness. That's a lot of damage. Um, and a lot of crit chance. The Awesome is not going to be able to move as far as Zeus just did. And if I reserve again, I'm going to have more hesitation next turn. So. I can actually charge the Zeus. 76.7. Go Vigilance. 76.7. Any luck? Ha! <laughs> He's on the ground. And already half dead. <laughs> oh, this is so fun. <laughs> I can highly recommend building yourself a full melee lance if you get the parts necessary. I'm going to let the Timberwolf move because I might actually be able to melee it with the Archer and the Ostrock. But Paradox does need to just... Turn on Supercharger. Get four evasion and shoot at the Zeus. Maybe get a headshot. Maybe... Ooh, wait. Actually, is he running XL? He is. Okay, we could actually kill here. Come on, Paradox. Unfortunate. Close. But not quite. Hit, Commander. Hmm. Right here. I mean... The Ostrock is really built for punching, though. I mean, not punching. Using its, uh, using its hatchet. Ready for orders. Oh, the Timberwolf already acted. Um. Okay. Position yeah, we're doing that. Ah, I left the supercharger on, didn't I? Oh well. Engage. Wait, did I leave the? No, he's, he's not the one that has the fiber sword. Solid connection on that one. Alright. Timberwolf is completely... completely torn up on the right side and the back. Standing by. So, if I get behind it and shoot it, it might just die from that. And since the right torso is destroyed, it already has two engine crits, so all it takes is one crit on the engine, and it dies. But at the same time, it already lost half of its weapons. Whereas the Zeus is still quite deadly, and all I need to do is shoot and hit the uh, left torso for 25 damage. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna move in like this. Damn. I'm gonna Vigilance. I'm gonna try to finish off the Zeus. Let's kill. All right. Now with Vigilance, I should have initiative. Standing by. Uh, turn off the pirate engine, turn off the supercharger, turn on the sword. 
Can't melee the Timberwolf in the back, but he's turn 13 anyway. Can't melee the Awesome in the back. All right. Atlas it is. Moving out. Hi there. Okay. I expected better. I expected better from a 9-ton Fiber Sword. Like, yeah, we did 200 some odd damage to its arm. But... Yes, Commander. Hmm. Okay. Um... I could follow up, but I think I'm better off following up there. Turn on the cockpit hot seat for the bonus physical damage. And hopefully kill. And... Not a kill. But it is a knock, which does give us initiative with the archer. Oh, never mind. Fall damage. Uh oh. That's amazing. Four misses, no stray shots. You love to see it. You love to see it. Alright, turn off the supercharger. I mean, honestly, the only way that we suffer is if the Atlas gets a shot on the hunchback. So, I'm just gonna hide with the hunchback. Good to go. Cockpit hot seat, 5% fail chance. Supercharger, turn it off. And, um, yeah. Location confirmed. See if we can take down an Atlas, huh? Alright, there goes the arm. There goes the side torso. There goes the Atlas. This is too fun. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is too fun. Alright, uh, he's on the map border, so I can't actually get behind them, but... It's fine. Wait, did I? I did hit physical weapon, right? Pretty sure I did. Good to go. I'm gonna reserve with Paradox. He only needs to come in if somebody doesn't kill. Ooh, twenty percent on the cockpit hot seat. Time to turn it off. But uh, yeah. Punch him in the face. My Oops. Sorry. Actually, I should have used the archer last. Because he's better at kicking than the Ostrock right is. Horan is not going to be able to use her weapon. So her hatchet is useless. So I'm going to actually wait for him to stand up. I'm going to let him stand back up. I mean, he's point blank with his PPCs, so... The odds of him hitting are very low. Right? He can't melee because he stood up. Okay, you know what? He hit one. I'm fine with that. Orders. Go ahead and move in with Paradox. And fire at the guy. Actually, I'm even going to offensive push here. Um, he's not running an XL, but eh, whatever. Yeah, do it. Yeah, it's completely fine. Standing by. Because if he survives this. Then we just follow up next round because we're going to have initiative on him since everyone is against a target that was hit with an offensive push. Alright. There he goes. 
Nice. Another 3 million Seabills. Took a little bit of damage, but completely fine. Alright, 77,000 Seabills. Not a big deal at all. We've got our Flashpoint ready, but we're going to do that tomorrow. For now, that has been your episode of Rogue Tech for the day. I hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, have a good one.